Our blue Saturday's crew day was blessed with superb weather. In the morning our usual training in the bay was cut short by a call for help from a 4.2 meter tinny with three people on board. Watch out because you can't see the tow line very well. They needed a tow from the nearing shoals back to Malulaba Harbour. On board Rotary 3, and as we approached Malulaba Rescue and her tow, we all remarked on how easy it was to miss the two main tell-tales that these two vessels had a tow line between them. A line that could easily snag an unwary boater, who might think the gap between these two boats was navigable. Yeah, I cannot see that tow line at all. The obvious sign would be to notice the tow line, but it was not at all easy to spot. The second sign was the restricted inability to maneuver flag that Malulaba Rescue was flying. Again not easy to spot and perhaps a signal that many recreational boaters would not necessarily be familiar with. In conditions like this our skippers can also use the orange flashing lights that may alert an unsuspecting vessel approaching and in danger of not spotting the tow. A last resort might be for our crew to jump up and down and scream. But this particular signal does not get an official mention in the collision regulations. Today, Paul on the Lulaba Rescue was preparing for demonstrating his navigational, towing and rafting skills. We're playing hide and seek, sitting in a nice little pocket, just inside Secrets Reef, off um, the headland, just below the lighthouse, just east of the lighthouse. And the um, Lulaba Rotary Rescue is going to um, try and find us some Tow us back. 500 metres away from the uh, shark nets. Yeah, we should be able to pick up um, their radio call at the moment. Pretty close to nets, pretty close to swimmers. Nothing like throwing some difficulty into it. One of the exercises is to receive a position over VHF. To make the exercise realistic, Rotary 3 motored out around the corner of Point Cartwright out of sight of the entrance and radioed now position. Yeah, Rotary 3, go ahead. We're going to do a 360 round you and then throw the line as we're heading back out. Just turn you around and we'll drag you back out over. What side are you going to throw the line or is that decision when you made when you've done your round? Decision when he's done his 360 over. As we were being rafted in the river, we had the chance to chat with Joe, one of our oldest crew and with the reputation of being one of our best heaving line throwers and fundraising champion. It's a beautiful day. We also welcomed new member of the crew in Frank, not wearing regulation uniform, as he's still waiting for the order to arrive. COVID as usual is the excuse for the delay. <laughs> hey, yeah, we're a member, so none of that credit card stuff. We were in the middle of devising yet more dastardly plans to make the exercise more realistic when a call came through for an assist close to the harbour. Noosa, there's a pump out station at Noosa. There's a pump out at Noosa. Rotary 3 was tasked with assisting the 7.3 metre boat back into the river and to her pontoon berth near Kiwana waters. Further training was cut short this day as our Malulaba rescue crew got a further call out later in the afternoon. This time, with two persons on board, all in all a beautiful day on the water, and with four assists plenty of opportunities to keep us on our toes 